talk so often about the worker shortages across a number of industries, welding being one of them. Yeah, and right now there's a local college doing its part to fight off the shortfall. As our John Rudder explains, they're doing it with a little competition to enhance their creativity. The competition is heating up. And not just for who's taking home the top honors. This project uh, is a culmination of everything that the students have learned here so far. The Golden Arm Welding Competition at Fortis College provides students a chance to show off their skills. Actually, in this project, we actually had to go around a corner without stopping. And that's kind of difficult because in real life, you don't want to stop at corners when you're welding because it... Yeah, no, that becomes a weak point. And local industry pros are the ones doing the judging. They're going to be looking at the dimensions, the spacing, and then the welds. Providing a critical connection as they enter the workforce. You could think of it as like a, 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 a draft class for these guys. They get to kind of showcase their skills for the local employers. Uh, then the local employers get to come in and pick the best of the cream of the crop. From repairing vehicles to forging bonds that support critical infrastructure, welders are an essential trade for a large number of industries. You know, welding isn't just, you know, welding in the booth and throwing flames and sparks. Uh, you can go into many other different aspects as far as testing, um, uh, sales, you name it. The American Welding Society estimates the industry will have a shortage of 400,000 workers by 2024. As older welders retire, younger talent isn't replacing them fast enough. They're going to get to be able to meet face to face with employers because the, the judges are local employers here. So competitions like these are designed to spark an interest in welding. I get bored quick. This has kept my attention. That hopefully turns into a labor of love. It's always a challenge, but that feeling you get when you, when you overcome that challenge, when you get good at it, and you see like that you're doing a good job, like it's very gratifying. Reporting for News 5. Everyone likes something that's gratifying, you know, the work that they do. I'm John Rudder.